the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5. Chase for the Fantasy Cup. We have had Dale Jr. style Daytona domination station. We have had Atlanta, classic Atlanta finish. Just to let you know that the old track is still better than the repaved track. We have had a classic Bristol breakout finish from James Stanford. And we had dreams come true at Darlington. But... There was also nightmares at Darlington, and speaking of nightmares, we are at one today. The Charlotte Roval, for the, I forgot what the name of the dang race event is. Uh, I, was going, uh, I was going with it too, man. I had such a good flow going and everything. Hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. It's uh, the... Heartburn Turn 62 here at the... Heartburn the Yes, the Harper turn 62 here at the Charlotte Roval. I'm Mikey McBlam, bringing up the rear. We have James Stanford Jr., Bristol winner, starting out front. Uh, Jamie Wright starting in second. Third is our road course ringer, Jonathan Wolf, starting in third, but he did have some fast uh, practice time, so we don't look for him to be back there for very long. We'll have to see how that works out. Then we have myself, of course, bring it up the rear, Mikey McGlam, driver of the number 83 Valvoline Green Machine, which is pretty consistent, unlike other people that are in this lobby. But we are, <laughs> the name of the game here is to just survive. John, you're one of the road course ringers, man. You are the road course ringer, the best one we've had here. You dominated the road courses pretty much every time we go there. Sometimes you don't always get a win, but you still managed to be out front for a long period of time. And Watkins Glen was pretty much all yours in the hand basket. How do you feel about your chances here at the Roval? You know, the difference between this place and all of the other road courses is I have way less confidence, but if I can just get into the rhythm I was in in practice, I think I've got a good chance. All right. Well, this track is all about finding that rhythm. That's not a rhythm that I have ever found yet, but again, this is only my second time ever racing at this racetrack in any heat game, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> anyway, we got 28 laps around here at the Charlotte Roval. Let's bring the noise. Yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And I'll make it through the infield this time. Hopefully. What do you mean this time? This is the first time we're doing this. Tip yeah, number totally. two. Oh, God. Brandon Brown still doesn't break that much, no, does he? Oh, Jamie, I'm so sorry. Oh, have a spot back, have a spot back. Never mind. God dang it, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I hit the curb or what it was, but it ended up not, not taking the corner like I had been. Here we go. Did you get it right at all? Uh, yeah. Well, if you ever get back up here, I will just give you the spot, I promise. I absolutely did not mean to do that. No, I know. know if I hit the curve or what, it just freaking chewed in here. Too hard in these corners right now. Got a pretty nice lead. Yeah, you're, you're going places. Brandon Brown's in front of me. Oh, Brandon Brown. Oh, you ain't kidding about how much sooner they stop, and God, that threw off everything for me, but okay, I lived. Yikes. 
hard to tell how far ahead I am because the leaderboard's always changing so quickly. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of deceiving, but you're you're pretty far ahead of me, so I don't think it's four seconds, but you're up there. <laughs> well, got there a couple laps, no problems yet. Probably just jinxed us, sorry. Well, I say no problems, I killed Jamie, but I mean no DCing, so there's that. Oh, James. It did not turn. I noticed. Oh, there goes my five second lead. Now it's one second. <laughs> that was kind of a callback to <laughs> that one New Hampshire race. And I told McLam I'm freaking up my turns, and then I immediately spin out and crash into him because I noticed. <laughs> uh, that was another race that I'm so good at. I just got mm -hmm. too far to the inside and hit the inside wall. You hit a lot of things in that race, to be perfectly fair, including me. Well, you probably deserved it. <laughs> An AI just hit the wall on their own. That didn't happen. I killed the wall. I'll turn you piece of junk. Oh my gosh, my right front is at 44% on lap wow. three. 89. I think you have your cameras. Mine's at 70. Yeah, my right front's at 79. I told yeah. you, you drive it too hard. You're trying too dark, tried too hard. Well, I hit the wall and they decided to make me stop for a course penalty. Well, hi. Sorry. No, it's fine. I was invisible. Or not invisible, transparent. <laughs> um. I still not John was driving the invisible boat not yet. What'd you say? John is driving the invisible, driving invisible boat, boat not yet. Oh, I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, oh my. Go ahead, it go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, hi, Jamie. As soon as we get up here, you can go past me. Go. Oh, God. Yeah, so I, I clipped the the wall coming out of the last part of the last chicane, and it it, um, it made me stop. So I was catching James, too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> oh, Jamie. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Like, I can't. I break at the three, and it's like puts me right on you. I can't break as late as you That's guys. That's weird. Do. I broke at the one. Anyway, uh, Jamie was bicycling it through the freaking. So are you. I'm at 19% on my right front. 17. Yeah, something's wrong with your setup. <laughs> Got it. Crashed. There's no way Ooh. you're crashed. Yep. And we're not. Oh, we did get a caution. I won something. Yes. James won the stage. I, I yeah, clipped the back end of your. My back end hit your back end and turned me into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Left front 34, right front oh. 17. 11 seconds of damage. Yeah, 17 seconds for me. Uh, so, I mean, is there anything I could do in 20 seconds here to fix this? The right front's at 50, though. I can't really up it too much more. Uh, you want to drop the right front and you want to raise the right rear or the left rear, which, yeah, right rear. Okay, I'll try it. They're both even now, 49. All right. Let's see if that hurry helps. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Three Four, seconds. Three, two. There yeah, you go. I, I was just, I was thinking about okay. other things, but couldn't get it done. Well, that was a disaster. <laughs> Hopefully I can pull away again. Brandon Brown and Chad Fincham are second and third. I did not take left side tires. 
I had to take everything and I will have to pretty much every five or six laps at this rate. I did not take any tires. So what I need is a late caution where everybody pits so that I won't run out of tires before the race is over. Oh, Tommy Joe Martin's a mad lad. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Did I hit you? I didn't even touch you. Oh my god. I was just getting to the inside and I purposely backed off so I didn't hit you. I must have bubbled you or something. Probably. I heard the sound but didn't feel like... That's... If I did, it's my fault, but I really, really wasn't trying to. Oh, I backed that up way too much. <laughs> I'm still in cruise control from before when I had a 10 second lead. Yeah, easier to do that when you're way out in front, that's for sure. Okay, this is exciting. Yeah. That was kind of bad. I'd let you by. Oh, okay. I'm a little tight through the infield. Maybe got into Jamie a little bit. But we were side by side through the entire thing. A lap and a half after the pit stop, I'm at 75% on my right front already. Maybe it's the assist. Well, no, you have some assist, James, so I don't know. Yeah, but like 5%. I don't know what yours is at. Well, mine's a little higher than that because I kept looping it every time I went into second gear, but I wouldn't think it'd be enough to really make this big of a difference. I mean, I'm granted, I'm, I'm definitely being aggressive into corners and stuff, but not, I don't know. It should be this much, it doesn't seem like. Oh my god, Jeffrey Earnhardt, that was the scariest crossover I've ever experienced. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey Earnhardt's trying to kill me. He's got the worst tires, so that means he's gonna be better. Came out. Um, right. Chase Briscoe is pitting, so I guess he was the reason. Uh, I guess Brandon I'm going to pit. Brown is also pit. pitting. So I'm going to pit too, because otherwise I'm never going to make it, probably. Hey, that might be a good strategy call. Probably not. I'm not going to be able to stretch it at the end. I could only go like five or six laps at a time. I'll never be able to take two tires. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Remember that they break differently. Remember that they break differently. Also, <laughs> did not go there. That's fine. Okay. I don't know what just happened. happened. I, I didn't hit you, did I? Uh, when? Oh, well, I know I hit you in turn one, but... It... Not in the right-hander that I flew, but I flew somehow. So it wasn't my fault. That's good. As long as 
I didn't kill you. It's good. I'm fine. All right, Ross. That was a large mistake. <laughs> no kidding. Well, it's just I've almost run you over four times, so I was just trying to get past you as quick as I could, and I, I, I hit the inside, and it just fricked me all the heck. It is not wanting to turn in turn one. Stages. Now we gotta go for the race. So we won this. Oh, you got that too. Good job. It's been a really good race up front. I don't know about in the back, but <laughs> it's just been me making dumb mistakes. That's all. You hyped me up way too hard at the start of this race with plan. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Strip right there just bends you. Mm -hmm. on my screen to be fair. Yeah, it was just breaking. It's going to be it's going to do that. It's like Barnesville was. bad. I don't know if you hit me on that time, but almost direct me through the chicane. I even, wow, I was on that brakes, on the brakes the whole time, just didn't care. Slid all the way through it.
Hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, well, there goes any chance I had. Because uh, I needed it to go the full run and then half fresh for the last four or five laps. Yeah, maybe there will be another caution for you, but I don't know if they're going to all pit again. That's no. the problem. No, I would be dead freaking once. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh. Let me gain 15 spots. Coming to the green. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of a laggy start there. How's this gonna work? Okay. There we go. I'm fine with that. Gotta just pull away. Can I do that, please? Everybody's concentrating so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did it. <laughs> what happened? Did everybody just miss it? Nope. I didn't. But... No, I slammed into you. Oh, okay. I guess you collected the coin. Nope. Car spun out. Oh. Okay. It, it, the way you were all together, I just assumed it was just a big pile of. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I thought I'd like disconnected or something because everybody just hit the walls at the same time. Yeah, that was confusing, to be sure. Well, my course penalty didn't hurt me, but it did well, give me a lot of damage. Yeah, there's so much damage right now. It's. Jeff, come on. Thanks. Thanks. It's a chaotic infield. It just keeps getting tighter and tighter as the race goes on. Mm -hmm. 
damage ain't gonna help out. Infield part right. <laughs> Hate that curve. We got a new reason to hate Jeff Green now. <clears throat> Jeff Green. Yeah, somehow he's uh, freaking mixed That's just every time. You piece of. Okay. If you don't actually use the brakes, just use the wall to slow down. Not having a caution every five laps. I guess here, five yeah, laps is like one lap. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with you, but. Yeah. I would have really loved a caution, actually. Mm hmm. to go sponsored by Credit One Bank.
out the brooms swept sounds like everybody had a great time that's not let's not get into it right now let's let's not be sarcastic right now uh, all right so just trying uh, to oh yeah, scroll through everything lighten the mood everybody check everybody scroll through just in case we need to back up here are the point standings after the Charlotte Robo. We're still in the points lead. Oh, wait, I need to get closer to the mic. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, here are the point standings after the Charlotte Robo. We're still in the points lead, 54 points over second place. Jonathan Wolf, who finished third here at the Robo. Uh, JB Wright moved his way into second. After skipping Darlington, he is back up into the points, uh, battling amongst the points leaders up in P3. 166 points back. A win quickly closes that gap. I mean, just he's 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 due for a win here so don't don't count him out just yet and james stanford back up in the top five 185 points back another win puts him very very close into the hunt currently sitting behind chase briscoe who seems to be just running really good even though i yeah i think he got a top 10 here at the uh at the robo so chase briscoe is is slowly just working his way into this championship hunt amongst the rest of the actual human drivers. So that'll be interesting. Then we have Jeff Green. We don't want to talk about him. Uh, rounding out the top 10 is Cesar Baccarella, surprisingly. So even though Cesar Baccarella did not have a good finish here at the Roble, he finished towards the back, I think, second to last. But, James, second one of the season. How you feel? I did it. Pulled out the broom, swept the stages, swept the race. Led almost all of it, but there's a one incident involving Jamie that I'd like to apologize for. There was just so much damage from the previous wreck that I just got into him and it sent him out of the race and he was definitely faster than me. He was catching me really quickly at the end there. But I just wanna say I'm sorry. All right. Well, uh, speaking of speaking of Jamie, it wouldn't be again wouldn't be a NASCAR Heat video if we didn't interview him. Jamie, you got somebody uh, apologizing to you in your in, in a previous interview. Uh, do you have any do you have any words to say afterwards? You know, it's it's pretty easy to win when you bulldoze all your competition. So. Oh, okay. Well, there's going to be some talks and in, in, in the haulers later on after the race, ladies and gentlemen. But that's the story for another time. We'll have to see you next time when we're going to Richmond International Raceway for the night race at, uh, oh shoot, I forgot what the, OPAI 50, I believe, or maybe 75. I, don't ask me to remember what the, what the event is events are right now i my mind is all over the place not 100 percent there tempers flared here at uh here at the roble at charlotte and like i said like i expected did not have that great of a finish i was just trying to get a top five and that didn't work out um all i can say is uh we're going to richmond it's a short track jeff green better watch out that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway, that's all I got for the night, guys. Um, we'll, we'll hash things out. Don't worry about us. Um, as far as Jeff Green, 
we'll see you next we'll see you next time we'll see you next time that's all i'm going to say about that anyway thank you guys so much for tuning into the nascar chase for the fantasy cup you guys on youtube we'll be seeing you later next time and thanks for watching leave a like uh post it in the chat below um and of course as always i know you're watching out there love you and uh we'll see you in the next one peace out